Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. Mind blown excitement today because I get to bring you another Jack Wolf Knives. Now, of all of the uh, the art that's done on his stuff, I'm just saying this one is built more for me than any of them that I have seen. This one, it doesn't just speak to me. It screams my name. Oh, the Wolf Soldier. That's pretty dope. So, here's the deal. This is a sharpshooter jack. This is a gun stock configuration you're going to see. Um, this was his first ever release, was one of these. Thing is, he sells out fast. So, they've been sold out for probably, I don't know, 20 months. <laughs> so, so he is uh, finally re-releasing a new one. But he has changed it, and when I say changed it, I mean made it better. So, bringing back the Sharpshooter Jack, he brought back all new um, grip configurations and uh, even did some new stuff like the steel. Uh, his original, drop my pog, his original was um, M390. It is now S90V. Um, so, he went a little bit of an upgrade on that steel here is the pog you can see it in its 2d configuration um really really sweet so what do you get when you open up a package you get i got excited you get the uh cleaning cloth with the knife inside you're gonna get a couple stickers and tell me tell me if this isn't one to love look at that sharpshooter that is just super super dope it's got this like almost like this world war ii freaking eastern european look to it it's just kind of cool man it's it's kind of cool it looks like something you might see overseas like spray painted on a building from old war time you know what i mean that's a really cool looking symbol i'm digging that um as always and thank goodness he does it you get the leather sleeve in there that helps when you go to pocket one of these knives because it is a pocket knife, not a on the pocket knife. And we will show you what's going on. Whoa. Beautiful. Gun stock pattern. So you see that pattern, take away that blade, make it a piece of wood. And all of a sudden you're, that's what that is. That's why it's called a gun stock pattern. Um, this thing is gorgeous. So this one is jigged titanium. So if you've ever seen like a jigged bone, uh, well, this one's uh, this one's kind of got jigged bone to it. Uh, you could see right under there. You could see all those little jigs right there. Those little ch -ch -ch -ch, that's what that is. It's instead of doing jigged bone, however, it is jigged titanium. So you're talking about some crazy, crazy stuff. Um, now, I, I know on his first release, the bolsters weren't this big, but he had to make room for the triple flutes, the Jack Wolf Knives triple flutes. Um, and I have to say, I really, really like the triple flutes. It just looks really good. It's not going to add additional grip or do this or that for it. It just looks nice. Um, it's just a, like a little classy touch. As always, everything lines up perfect it just mates up perfect remember that um jack wolf knives uh the reason they sell out so fast um is because they are the best number one top dog uh slip joint knives in the world on the planet you will ever see you will ever know these things are the bomb so you'll notice that there is no thumb nick and i am gonna go back to this one you'll see the crescent moon there that thumb nick boop boop right there to open the knife this one, it's it goes full all the way across, which kind of, it's almost looks like a fuller, right? But what it does is I can grab like a piece of my, my, you hear that? My thumb skin can catch on the end of that and it helps open it up really, really nice and easy. Let's get a good look at this. Ta, 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 ta. that's gorgeous man it is a beautiful beautiful clip point it's got a really nice size to it um let's see we are talking about a closed length of 3.74 inches so three and three quarter inches closed 
Um, it has a hollow ground clip point, S90V steel. Um, the blade itself is just about three inches long. It's only 2.7 ounces. Um, depending on handle material, some of them are, you know, a little bit, a little bit off, a little bit different. Um, da, 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 da. And that is what it is. So Ben Belkin, once again, just designs the hell out of a slip joint knife to make it great. So now what does the gun stock shape do? My middle finger right now is catching on that. And I have this full grip right here, this front grip pretty much, where my thumb is on the top so I can carve down. Remember, it is a slip joint. It does not lock forward, but it does snap forward. These springs, if you've had the original, are actually stronger than the original string uh, springs. So your walk and talk is going to be a lot heavier, a lot more crisp. It just, bam, bam. Oh, man, that really snaps in there. But right here, that little spot right there gives me a really nice landing spot. Um, it helps me really control the knife. I can just shift my middle finger, and it helps me turn this knife. The harder you squeeze, the more it locks in. It is freaking amazing. Amazing. Um, is it sharp? Well, let me tell you something. Anything that Ben Belkin puts out is going to be sharp. It is going to be sharp. I can't see anything. <laughs> my sunglasses. My eyes are super sensitive today. Let's see if it... Yeah, okay. So you see it right there. Let's see. I think I'm in a spot with really no hair. I was in a spot with really no hair. That's a spot of shape. Okay, there we go. Now I can see all the actual hair coming off. Now I was hitting a spot that was pretty much already bald. Already bald. <laughs> That's what happens when you're a knife guy. So, once again, as always, and how it should be, shave sharp. Shave sharp. I squeezed my eyes closed. You couldn't tell. Shave sharp. That's how badass it is. But this thing, this thing is just gorgeous. Now, before we take it and cut with it, I want to show you some of the other um, handles that he has. Um, he's got some really sweet looking fat carbon um, configurations that are just stunning. Stunning. All right, so hold on. You're going to come for a ride with me here. Now, this fat carbon stuff is the kind of stuff that you need to see in the sun. It does no justice looking at it here. Um, you'll notice the red, black, and white, but what you're not picking up as much is the silver. When that thing is in the sun and you turn it, it becomes translucent. It is absolutely disgustingly awesome. Here you go. You have like this really sweet brushed looking titanium with the, I think it's called DLC, the black blade. And then you have this guy. I'm not 100% sure what it's called, but holy crap, that is cool looking. And then you have this winter storm looking one that is a lot like the red and white one, except they put it on a black background. This is actually his first um, knife where he incorporated blue scales with a black knife. It looks pretty freaking hot. I, I see more in the future. And obviously you have this one now i know there are actual names for all of these um and i was oh this one right here that's that like black and gray looking one yeah that happens so i mean the the guy is he's just a master he does what he does because he does it better than anybody else sorry to interrupt your regularly programmed schedule but i'm an idiot so this was supposed to be filmed in a couple days because I filmed the first part of this video during the blizzard um and then I planned on just waiting a couple days because they're released on the 19th so I was going to probably just release the video on the 19th so I had plenty of days to get it done <sighs> so here's the deal since I knew I wasn't taking it outside I put it down I put it down right in front of where I was doing a project with some of these cool little things and I had some war clubs that I was doing and doing some different things and making a spear and I happened to have made a batch of um, JB Weld yeah and I had it sitting right there right where I took my sharpshooter 
and said, okay, let me put this down. Good to go. I'll get back on it in the next couple days when the snow dissipates. <sighs> I left it open right there. So I just left it open. I don't because sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. And um, leaving it open, I didn't realize, but the tip was inside of the JB Weld. So today I went to grab the knife and it was all JB welded down. Um, I tried to get the JB Weld off without ruining the finish of the blade and it wasn't working because that stuff is amazing. So the Sharpshooter Jack has taken a, taken a little turn, but not horrible. We're still doing this review. You guys know my hog nose design. It sits right there and I can see it. And after I realized I can't get the JB Weld off of there without damaging the way the knife looks, I thought, well, if the edge is still brand spanking new and the only thing that would change would be the shape of the tip, why not just give it a little hog nose? So what I did is I took it down to the shop, gave it a little hog nose. It changes nothing on um, how this knife is going to work or do any of that. So I'm going to give you the same um the same review i was going to give because it's only missing like this much of the tip and i mean we didn't need to use that anyway it's a cutting knife that's what this is it's a slip joint it's made to cut so it's not made for i'm not going to be digging the, the 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 tip into things and twisting and going crazy but what i tried to do is bring as close to as thin of a tip as i could I even rounded the edges here to give it the same balance as far as um, thickness left in the tip. And I did a pretty good job of doing that. So the knife is 100% um, percent functional. Uh, functional, functional. Um, nothing changed there. The only thing that happened was I had to take off the tip because I ruined it. I did. The knife didn't come ruined. You saw the knife. Um, it was actually fantastic. And before we could even get it outside, I ruined it. And here's the thing. This is a Ben Belkin design. It's a Ben Belkin Jack Wolf knives knife. There's no way in hell I'm not using this knife. So I simply just ground down the areas um, that were left caca. And now this thing is once again flawless. Does it look a little different? Sure. But is it going to perform exactly as it would for what we're going to do if it was still a clip point, yeah, it's going to do the same thing. And what you need to know is how really great these edges are and how really great these knives are. You already know it's comfortable. You already know it's good looking. You already know it's shave sharp. But let's go maybe cut into some other stuff. Come on. All right. So we don't have a lot of sunshine because, well, it's New England. Um, but a lot of the snow was melted. We just had a ton of rain. So we had a full day of snow, well, two full days of snow, a full day of rain. And now we have just a little snow, so it's perfect. But even in just daylight, even though it's not sunshine, you can really, really see how absolutely beautiful this thing is. Let me clean my fingerprints off. Had a lot of fingerprints on there since I was doing some stuff. But you can see this thing is just, it's just immaculate. It's immaculate. And even though I had to grind down the tip, which sucks because that clip point was gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, it doesn't matter to me because it's a slip joint. With a clip point, you're not going to be using the tippy tip. You know what I mean? You're just not going to do that with a slip joint. So it's okay. It's still going to be all the bit of knife I need it to be. Now, um, I don't need to do drop tests and things like that because that's to test the bite, boop, you know, from a four-foot drop. Since the tip is now different, that would be unfair to the knife to judge how far it can go in from a certain distance or this and that. But what we are going to do is we're going to do a little push cut. Remember, this edge is still 100%. I did not touch from here back is 100% stock. I did not touch it. So we're going to do a, uh, a push cut. Wow, that dove through. We'll do a push cut there. And um, we should probably not sharp use the sharpening choil to cut and oh i don't know if i could do this because i can't hold on to it oh my goodness i was holding right here on frozen cold and wet rope it was like that 
and I could still cut it without it losing from my hands because this damn thing whoa, is sharp. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I get asked a lot of questions about, um, hey, can you use them for self-defense? I know what you're thinking already. If you are of sane mind, you're thinking, why did somebody ask that? Because they do. If something is sharp and pointy, you can use it for self-defense. Would I recommend you stabbing into something? No. But if you had to slash, yeah. And if somebody is, or, or an animal, or, or Bigfoot is getting you at the ATM, and you can say, hold on a second, I'll be right with you. All right, well, fine, now you're good to go. But, use your head. Use your head. All right, here we go. Bam. I'm trying to go slow so you can actually see the peel. Look how thin those are. <laughs> Look at how thin those are. This is a freaking cutting knife. It is a freaking cutting knife. Um, here's the thing. Jack Wolf knives are so damn good. You can carve off the tip. <laughs> and still have a knife that's better than whatever the hell was in your pocket before you carved off the tip of this one. I'm telling you. They're just that good. They're just that good. Um, you know, when you have a master designer and you have a master knife maker, you know what I mean? It, it, things are just going to go well. So even with the tip, oh, man. So even like that, just so you know, if it had the original tip, it would have went through even easier. Even easier with the clip point because the, um, the, oh, the, the tip on the clip, the tip on the clip, was crazy, um, crazy, crazy pointy. And it's still going through, even with a modified tip that's not as pointy. It doesn't curl back. But it's still going to do it. Still going to do it. I'm not going to lie. We're kind of going through quick because it is c -c -c cold out here. And um, <laughs> I was, I planned on being out earlier, but I had to go into the shop and knock off some stuff. Otherwise... I would have been out of here an hour ago getting this stuff done. The thing is, it's okay. It's okay because somebody named Ben Belkin designed a knife that's so damn good that you could carve it up and it's still going to carve stuff up. All right, let's see here. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Just by changing the angle of the knife, you can change how you get your feathering done. It's just so, so nice. So, so nice. Even on this wet wood, it's kind of crappy. It just works. Look at that. Oh, bam! Now that's how you whittle off a chunk right there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You got you to gotta sharpen a, a stick. You're going to get, look at this. Just wiggle the stick. You see that that little motion I'm doing? Just wiggling the stick rather than the knife. I'm holding the knife in place. This is a little something you guys might need to pick up on. Look at that. You see how much... You ever sit there with a knife and do this, and then all of a sudden you went in too much and you can't get it? Wiggle the stick, not the knife. Makes perfect sense. And even with all that wiggling, there's no movement, no jigging, jagging, tossing, flipping, furling, whatever. Um... It's just going to go, man. It's just going to go. This knife, it's Jack Wolf knives. There's a reason that they're, oh, that they're the best on the planet. And I can, look at that. I can show you the reason over and over and over again with every single model he produces. And the reason is because they're just that damn good. I mean, doing a knife like this makes a job like mine easier. My job is to show you that a knife works that maybe it's designed right, that it's safe to use. That's my job. That's what I do. With a knife like this, it is so, so good, I don't have to do anything. It's literally, I just hold it in front of some things. Oh, there's my mailman. I just hold it in front of some things, and it does the work for me. It's awesome. All right, I'm going to go down and meet my mailman. He's down there somewhere. Man, I'll tell you, I wish I could be showing you this with the clip point on it at the end of this video, but 
you know what it looks like. I already showed you. This thing is super duper dope. Even if it's modified because you glued it to something. This thing is freaking awesome. Um, I, I just love his stuff. All right, so that's it for this one. Hi, I'm going to be all day. Till next knife.